Hello everybody, welcome to the Jerry's Art Report, your source for all things art. I'm Mikey G and today we're sitting down with Viola Baldwin, who's the Director of Picture Framing at the Jerry's Autorama Company. And she's also the creator of the Baldwin Series Frames. Viola, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. Pleasure to have you. So what are the Baldwin Series Frames? Well, when we were going through our catalog, looking at the various frames, we decided there were some missing items. Mm -hmm. And I know that's hard for people to believe when they look at all of our open back frames, but we, we knew that there were some that were not uh, available. So we went looking for them and this is the series that we came up with. Regarding that, what makes them unique? Why did we decide to add them? We looked at several things and actually Ira Goldstein was a great influence. He's the president of our company and he's a photographer. So I began to look at exactly what were we offering right. for photographers and at that point not a whole lot. So this is, these are examples of what we came up with. And each of the styles, you know, they're, they're unique. What would be some of the best uses? You mentioned that photography is one of them. They'll also hold stretch canvases. Um, but in terms of the style of the art, what would you suggest, you know, what style would fit best for each of these moldings? This is the Madison and this is the Whitney. Okay. Uh, both museums that you think of, right. high quality, um, so we're, we're looking at something that would be perhaps not totally contemporary, but uh, a little at least what an artist would use mm -hmm. to put on their um, artwork. Mm -hmm. um, the flow of into the piece of artwork, enhancing keeps it. Keeps the eye going. Keeps it going into there, uh, e either to the canvas or a photograph or a pastel mm -hmm. or watercolor just depending on what you choose. So, wide variety, and we have two other moldings here that we can uh, okay. take a look at. These, these are very okay. different than the other two. This one has been named the Getty, uh, and you think of a contemporary art museum with that name, and so we have, we're looking at something that will be contemporary, uh, a canvas, a canvas panel, even photography mm -hmm. that's just, not your usual portrait, right. still life kind of thing. If you're looking for a portrait, still life, then Charlestown, as the name implies, is very colonial looking, uh, very traditional. And uh, I guess my last question, the question on probably everybody's minds is, I mean, what are these gonna cost me? They're very affordable. Um, a Charlestown 16 by 20 in a custom frame shop would run upwards of $250 or more. Um, at Jerry's, you'll find that it's around 80% less than that. Wow. Okay. So, so we a have, significant savings. Yes, and we, we have tried to listen to artists on what their needs were. We mm. may not act, always act as quickly as they would <laughs> like, but we are listening to what they want. That's just the cost of getting it right. That's right. <laughs> we gotta exactly. take our time. Thank well, you. uh, <clears throat> They're beautiful frames. Thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with us. Uh, thank about you. It. And thank you guys at home for watching this episode of the Jerry's Art Report, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much.